The It Doesn't Add Up campaign it is, in a way, a statement of the obvious, but I, we felt it needed to be made, which is that if you are going to put the wages up, if you're going to put the national living wage up, great, that's fantastic, that's just what we need for staff right across the sector. But if you don't fund it, it doesn't add up. The national living wage is a legal requirement that organisations like HFT have to pay, but it's not being reflected in the fees that we're getting from local authorities. They're still commissioning at the national minimum wage. What happens is people go out of business, people withdraw from contracts, the whole system actually is not sustainable going forward. The national living wage is going up every single year and will reach £9.20 by 2020 and it's not being reflected in the amounts we're getting from councils. So we thought it was important to bring it home to them that this doesn't add up. And the people who are best at bringing that home are the people we support. They can see it. And it's about having services that are sustainable for the future. And that's something that we took to Voices to be Heard, to explain to them that this isn't about us just trying to get money, this is about, this is about sustainable services. They can see that there's a real challenge about their staff teams. They realise things are being cut back. They know that they can't be supported to as much as they used to be. So we launched It Doesn't Add Up as a way of raising awareness amongst MPs and local authorities. When, when that came to Westminster, we had three, maybe four people who spoke really, really articulately explaining how it just is not fair. We went to London and I did a speech on um, the cuts and how it affects me. Um, HFT uh, wants to pay the living wage, but we can't pay with money that we don't have. So the campaign was to raise awareness of that. And I think the people we support expect fairness and they don't understand why things can't be fair and it was it was it was very powerful so we had quite a strong response to that. We received over 3,800 signatories. Uh, this included uh, Sally Phillips, the actress who has a son with Down syndrome, uh, and also Norman Lamb, who's the health spokesperson from the Liberal Democrats. So as well as members of the public, quite notable people were signing this as well. On the day that we went to London, we went to the Houses of Parliament, they came too. And they took a large calculator, just to show it doesn't add up, and they took the, the, the campaigns to the ministers. Started a position. We posed outside all the various uh, departments with that. One of my favourite photos is him walking down Whitehall with his giant calculator showing it to people. There are some members of the public looking and seeing what it is. And I just think for me that summed up the whole day. I was there, I saw them create quite an impact. Uh, the families were fantastic in their involvement. We had over 60 letters go out to local MPs. And it's one thing to have someone like me said so talk about the national living wage and talk about costs. It's something else to have somebody who's directly impacted. This will impact on their lives. But overall, I think they got their voice heard. And what this was backed up by was some research we'd done from CBR. To do some wide research on the impact of funding cuts and the national living wage on the sector. Which actually showed that the sector was going into crisis. That piece of research we launched at a parliamentary event and that event got a lot of media cut through and in fact we were really delighted that we were um, top story and The Guardian online for that. CQC, our regulator, had also put out a report saying the sector was right on the edge. But what this showed was that if you looked at it in job terms, some 30,000 jobs would have to go in the sector unless funding was brought in. And we all know that this sector runs on staff so that doesn't work. It just, I mean, it's obvious, it just doesn't add up. And that's where the campaign went from.